I'm telling you, man, this is it. Everything's gonna be different for you now. You went to sleep last night, nobody knew who you were. You're famous now. People are gonna treat you different. Are you ready for it? Don't know, come on. Don't let it get in your head. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get in your head. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I just want you to be prepared. R2 was a jerk for 30 years because he wasn't ready psychologically. I feel like you're more emotionally stable than he was though. Are you good? I know you just did press. All right. It's the Star Wars Show Live Celebration 2019 Recap. Now, from backstage, here's Andy and Anthony. Hello, and welcome to the Star Wars Show, the only Star Wars show broadcasting from backstage at Star Wars Celebration Chicago. That's right, we're your place for all the exclusive backstage happenings. That's right, movie magic like lights and duct work. And a lot of gaff tape. Movie magic, y'all. Let's go to the news. Last week, the internet finally learned the title of the final film of the Skywalker saga as J.J. Abrams and crew took to the stage to unveil Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. And aside from introducing us to new characters like Dio and Janna, we also got to see that incredible teaser trailer complete with the surprise cackle of the Emperor to top it all off. Then ILM X Labs showed off the latest trailer for Vader Immortal, the new VR experience coming to Oculus Quest. Which I cannot wait for, not only because it's VR and I love VR, but because Maya Rudolph is a part of Star Wars. Finally, somebody got my letters. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge also made some news with tons of new product reveals and details of the in-universe experiences waiting for you on Batuu when you step inside of Black Spire Outpost in Disneyland on May 31st. Face soda! EA blew the roof off of the building when they unveiled the first look at the new game Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and even made some news on our own stage when Vince Zampella announced it was single player, story based, and no microtransactions. And speaking of Jedi Fallen Order, there's a brand new Art of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order book coming soon. The full color oversized hardcover volume captures a look behind the design of the game across Cal Kestis' galaxy spanning adventure, including new and familiar exotic worlds, tyrannical foes, and much, much more. Then John Favreau and Dave Filoni blew the roof off McCormick Place when they revealed what they've been cooking up with the highly anticipated live action Star Wars series, The Mandalorian. But Dave Filoni wasn't done yet. Oh no. He came back to the stage hours later and blew the roof off again with more details and a teaser for the new season of The Clone Wars coming to Disney+. Plus. That's a lot of roofs. Yeah, their insurance company is not happy with no. them. But let's not forget about the 20th anniversary panel for The Phantom Menace, which was a complete and total love fest for our favorite galactic senator, Jar Jar Binks. Plus, we got our first look at the new season of Star Wars Resistance, details on tons of new books and comics coming, and so much more Star Wars that it's a wonder we fit it all into five days. Oh, we were there too on our own massive stage, joined by all the celebrities and creators of Star Wars you wanted to see. And you may be wondering just how we managed to get them to our stage. Well, I mean, yes, we are Lucasfilm, but what really got them was our legendary t-shirt blasters. That's right, nobody can resist the allure of an in-universe styled t-shirt cannon, which you can use to fire t-shirts into the audience. Why don't we take a look back at some of the best moments with the cannon, shall we? Sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting word that the t-shirt gun is here? Pedro, we want you to be the first person to fire our brand new Mandalorian T-shirt cannon! This thing is no joke, man. Oh, wow. Gina. oh yeah! That's fantastic. There's just one more day left to vote for StarWars.com and the Star Wars Show for the 2019 Webby Awards. The Star Wars Show is nominated for Best Variety Series, Best Social Series, and Best Video Remix Mashup for Arrested Development Star Wars. We're also nominated for Best Video Event Livestream for our red carpet coverage of Solo, A Star Wars Story. And StarWars.com is nominated for Best Movie and Film Website. Head to StarWars.com slash SWS now for information on where and how to vote. Hurry, voting ends tonight.
How are you, sir? It's good to see you, you again. Yeah, Jeez. absolutely. The trailer was wonderful. Yeah, that was fun. Wasn't Panel it? was great. Yeah. Hey, buddy, you're doing great. My dude, what's up? All right, you're done. No, no, you got you got a whole line to go. Through. Billy D. Williams, welcome back to Star Wars, man. We missed you. Yeah, thank you, thank you. It's uh, been a wonderful little journey. You can talk about it now. How does it feel to be able to talk about it now? Half talking about it. I play a character called Janna. That's fun. <laughs> I'm in the film. <laughs> is it hot in the costume? You know, it is, but after years of doing it, you just get used to it. It kind of becomes like a second skin, mm -hmm. you know? And how, do, how did you feel about this being the last time you would be in a major Star Wars film as C-3PO? We don't know what's going to happen in the future. Lucasfilm obviously has a lot of projects in the works, but I will say that uh, it was very poignant ending this chapter of the Star Wars saga. R2, it is, of course, wonderful to see you again. Thank you for coming out. How's it feel to you see the fan reaction to you at the panel was absolutely wonderful. Seriously overwhelming. I was trying not to cry up there. It's just so insane. It just goes to show that it never gets old. It really doesn't. It's such an incredible thing to be a part of. I just love the absolute leaning in to Finpo that you're doing today. It's been wonderful. The love between the two of you is real and I love seeing you express that love in front of a crowd. I really love John so <laughs> deeply. This movie in particular, John and I got to work together so much. Poe and Finn from the very get-go. I don't know, there's just always been something very special between these two guys. It must have been such a roller coaster for you over the last few years. What are sort of the personal feelings here knowing that you're kind of closing up this 40-year-old story? I mean, it's scary. Not only because I have a huge responsibility once again, but also because who knows what's going to happen now. How does it feel to be closing up the original saga and starting this new chapter? It's a mixed feeling of emotions. We don't look at it entirely as an end, but it's it is the culmination of the Skywalker story. I'm also incredibly excited about where we're going and what the future holds and what the new saga might be. How did you feel on the last day on the set when they said, okay, cut, that's a wrap, and you came off the set and JJ began to speak and he said nice things about you. How did you feel? I always like to be the one that speaks first. So I was a little like, hmm, it's kind of my moment, JJ. I've kind of been here longer than you. But other than that, I would say I felt kind of hungry, a little tired. Just a little achy in the feet. I'm sorry I started this, but he's just <laughs> too good. I really bit off more than I could handle that. How did it feel to actually be able to come back and close out this story? Selfishly, I loved the experience of Force Awakens so much. I was nervous that coming back would somehow undo or sort of poison the waters of what that experience was somehow. And why would I want to risk that? Because it was such a great time. And this experience, I think, it ended up being an infinitely more gratifying experience. The challenges in this movie were crazy and yet I feel like everyone brought their triple A-plus game. How was it just being on set and working with J.J. and working with the new cast? Oh, they're wonderful. I love J.J. <laughs> the cast, the kids are just really wonderful actors and wonderful human beings. How does it feel kind of be closing this chapter of things? It feels very emotional and it feels good and I think that everyone watching the film will feel satisfied and it was the right timing and all of it. It just feels like all the right pieces have fallen together. Well, it was an amazing trailer. It was an amazing panel. We are so excited for December. And remember, Anthony, yeah. if you're ever alone and wish you had someone to hold on to, just say to yourself, <laughs> and things will be better. Thanks, man. Just watching the Star Wars show. Well, we had a ton of fun at Star Wars Celebration Chicago, but all good things must come to an end. But before we go, we want to know what your favorite moment was. Let us know using the hashtag Celebration Memories, and we will feature our favorite ones here on the show next week. And as always, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and let's just go to bed now. May the Force be with you. Sleep. Cool.